I never thought a day would come where I would watch Barbie and Oppenheimer on the same day, back to back, and it was actually better than I expected. And I'm talking about both films. Oppenheimer was phenomenal, but this review is about Barbie. Barbie, which came out on the same day as Oppenheimer, was a critical success. It managed to make over $155 million in the box office, which breaks the record for the highest opening for a weekend in the box office for a female director. And other films which actually did quite well in the past is Patty Jenkins' Wonder Woman, which made $103 million in the box office in its opening weekend, and Captain Marvel, which made $153 million in its opening weekend. The film itself is completely completely different to what would you have expected. In a fantastical world, this film delves into the essence of humanity through a doll. Never would I thought I would actually say that. Barbieland is basically a realm of flawlessly looking women that can achieve anything. However, the film delves more into the idea of womanhood, disrupting the fantastical ideal in which Barbie goes into the real world, in which it is a patriarchal society and where her significance is questioned. This movie is basically unconventional in its storytelling, in its own whimsical nature, it adds silliness, and it reflects on the meaningless of society. And the real world is portrayed in the film as a suffering capitalist society. Although you have a lot of despair and nihilism, the film remains anchored in its thoughtfulness, skillfully balancing between the extremes. And underneath all of this, it is essentially the deeply humanist tale is using the symbolic toy to represent the value of human joy and it explores different themes of happiness, sadness, belonging and overthrowing a patriarchal society where matriarchal society could actually endure. This film actually has a lot of easter eggs as well which includes Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey which is the intro of the film. You also got references to Dr. Strangelove which could be argued to be the main headquarters of Mattel. You also got references to The Godfather the Matrix and many more and this film is quite self-aware in what it is trying to do however for me the main standout is Ryan Gosling as Ken he has many moments to himself which actually made me laugh which include a beach off jokes a dance off and reading up what a patriarchal society is and how it would actually give him the power and the respect that he wants and to be honest it makes sense Barbie land is a land where women are in control of everything which includes the pink house the Supreme Court, every girl is girls night, and all of the Kens have nothing. It's a film which questions society basically. It features a star studded cast, great performances, brilliant production design from Oscar nominees, an Oscar nominated DOP, and the marketing for this movie has been sublime. This film will do really well in the box office and I'm actually glad that I got the chance to see it. <laughs>